Hello everyone, this is Brittany of Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. And I wanna bring you guys a home tour for one of our cutest little bobcats. Today we're gonna to take a look at Filmo and the space that Filmo calls home. Here's a cute little photo of Filmo. So what I'm gonna do is just walk around his entire enclosure as if we were the cleaners. So every day here at Big Cat Rescue, our group of keepers come around and they feed all of the cats. And then another group comes around after and does all of the cleaning. And so right now, Filmo has already had breakfast, so he's probably, I have a feeling I know where he is, but we're gonna walk his entire enclosure and I'll show you all of his little amenities and then we will locate him. So, Filmo has um, lots of different toys in each section. He has a Coolaroo, he's got this three-part um, platform, he's got a nice little concrete den there. You can see our enclosures have a lot of natural foliage, so natural trees and ferns. So over here he has a feeding lockout. And there's a hose here so that every day the cleaners can come and they can scrub off his feeding plate, give him fresh water, clean off his ceramic tile. You can see that there are natural trees, tree stumps, different things that he can climb and scratch. Our cages are designed in a way where it's a bubble system. So you'll see that he has this front bubble that I just showed you. Then he has this little guillotine door here and it leads into this tunnel that separates from a secondary bubble. He's got a nice tree stump den as well. And then our maintenance team has built him these really cute little platforms that go all the way up his tree. And there he is. Hi, Filmo. This is his absolute favorite place to hang out. He'll actually climb all the way to the very, very top as well. And he can just watch the whole world from up here. So we'll probably see him again at the end. So back to his home tour. So in the secondary bubble, he obviously has that large tree. He's got this nice den here. He's got some toys. He has a Coolaroo bed that we'll see from the other side. And then yet again, there is another door with a tunnel that leads into yet another bubble. So we have the bubble systems in place to help when we need to shift a cat around. So if we need to go in and do some kind of maintenance, whatever the reason would be, he has this nice big safety entrance area here. So it's a double door system. He does not have access to the safety entrance. It's for people only. And if we needed to go into these back bubbles here, that's Beecher making a cameo in the background, by the way. Uh, if we needed to shift him um, or we needed to leave him where he is there, we can close doors, put a safety pole in, and then we can actually enter these two areas of the cage and if we need to do some raking, which we do, it's that time of year, it never ends here. <laughs> or if we just need to fix something on his platforms, that is the way that we go in. Otherwise, all cleaning is done from the outside of the enclosures. So he's got this little bubble area as well that's right outside of his lockout. He's got another den there, another feeding lockout. So the cleaners are coming around actually as we speak and they'll scrub off the um, food plate and you can see that there are some leaves that have made their way into his bowl. They'll scrub that and refill it and the tile as well. The tile helps keep a lot of debris out but not everything, especially when it's windy. And you'll see the area of chicken wire that's on the outside of his feeding lockout. That is there to help um, keep away any kind of critters that might want to try to steal food from the cats. Vultures, large birds, squirrels, anything like that. So he's got this big platform here with a ramp. He actually likes to hang out up there a lot in the late evenings. And then he's got a nice tree stump there. It can be 
fun for him to walk along and hide behind. This is another view. Another tree stump. I've actually seen him climb to the top of that and balance on it. Only once, but I got pictures. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Here's another safety entrance. So same deal if we needed to access this large back bubble we can. He actually likes to sit on this bench quite a bit. This has been in here for a really long time and he'll hide under it or he'll hang out on top of it. You can see he has a lot of natural trees growing. Again more ferns. He's also got this really large concrete den. This is the den he loves to torment his meds keepers likes to hide in there when we come give him meds at night. You can see that there's a little window cut out there so that if he was hiding in that front corner, we'd be able to see him. And then there's also a view on this side. Sometimes you just see the glow of their eyes, but that's what you gotta do. You gotta find the cat no matter what, the moment you come out to enclosures, you need to know where the cat is. So here's another view back. Keep walking around. Hopefully these home tours help people understand that, you know, if you only see one small shot on a video or a photo of the cats, you may not understand how much space they actually have. But once I've walked around and shown you all of their various toys and permanent enrichment like dens and platforms. So another view. couple more toys over here. These are really fun. It's a ball with a ball inside. Sometimes they make a jingling noise. <laughs> so here's that tunnel again. Now we're back to that same section where he is up in his tree looking adorable. Look at that face. So again his Kularu bed. He likes to hide in these plants a lot too. You'll actually drive by and think, oh, he's probably in his tree, and then he's actually laying by one of these grasses. There's a view of the other side of his tree without the ramps. We learned very early on that Filmo is young enough, he's under five, that he's still going to want to climb those trees, and because he actually has a very severe injury we believe it was either something maybe he was born with but it could have been an injury um look how good his camouflage is and so he's on a daily pain management system you can learn all about what we discovered in his intake exam if you go to bigcatrescue.org backslash filmo and you'll see the x-ray so he's got a curved spine and so he scared us to death when he first got here and all he wanted to do was climb that tree. So now we are back at the beginning. But let's go get one more shot of him being absolutely adorable up there. So you can learn all about him on his bio page. And if you'd like to learn more about how our enclosures are um, built and why, you can do that at bigcatrescue.org backslash cages. And Filmo would really, really appreciate your guys' support to go out there and just help educate others by sharing these videos. These home tours get to um, let people understand a little bit more deeply about how our enclosures are built and why. And there's a whole series of them at dailybigcat.com. So thank you guys so much for your support. You tell them to go get educated. Take care, everybody. <laughs>